You'll see a little bit later that I can't help but go outside and get in the rain. That's what I'm all about. Dire addio a un cortile. Morning, beer geeks. I just got back into Paris, and there's nothing open like places to buy beer, so I got this at the grocery store. Um, so, cheers. Pours with no real head. It smells like a pig's pen. Yeah, that's nice. And I'm glad I can't see the color. Whatever. For 8.5, it's really not that bad. Yeah, we could drink this in the morning. Even get the thing that makes it not so bad is that the aftertaste is like nothing. It's super cold. This glass can. I'm gonna put it on my puffy eyes. Carbonation is surprisingly low. I don't know if that's because of my glassware, but anyway, good morning, beer fam. Uh, I'm glad to be back in Paris, even though I was rubbing my eyes all last night because I'm allergic to Paris. I guess I don't know. Um, I just had a fantastic time in Italy, so um, these are all the videos, this is what I did, let's just, I just want you to see my fucking week, this is what I did last week. It's a video! Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not fucking in Milan! Uh, so found this, bah, this can, a liter sized can with this barbarian thing on it, to which I didn't really want to drink it, I just found it to be beautiful. But um, my friend insisted that I try it. Yeah. You have to drink it. As you can see from my face. <laughs> Who wants some beer? <laughs> it wasn't good. Uh, and then we got drunk and we like, pff, played poker. Italians are funny. There was a lot of smoking and, pff, you know, I didn't lose, but I didn't win. Yeah. That's yeah. And then I sat down and spoke with Francesco from the Brewdog Bar, who was kind enough to sit down and share his time with me and you guys. So we kind of filmed a little video for you. Um, I just cropped it up a whole bunch. Um, I can put in the full one, but to be honest, these are just like the highlight points on what I found to be important. The so Wi-Fi password is we love beer. Yeah, Do you I consider would... yourself a beer geek? No, not at all. <gasps> I was one of those people that I, I need my glass for my beer. Beards, tattoos. Beards, tattoos. Oh, I've got my tattoos, but I don't show them, so... <laughs> I'm with you, me too. I had a beard, but before it was cool. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I'm, I, don't, I don't consider myself like a beer geek. Okay. I'm just a beer lover, so... But tell me more about the, the, the beer... The like, like, good beer culture, but in Florence. Like, Florence. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, you coming to visit should... Come and, uh, first of all, Google some good places for it. Yeah, yeah just, look it just up. Look, look it on up. Google about some good places. But what if they just came here first? What if they were like, okay. First thing? If you're a beer geek, come to. Uh, uh, we, are the, we are the closest. Here. Yeah, we are the closer just bar come here, to the. Step one and be like, I'm a beer geek. I'm a beer geek? Okay, but beer you're... geek doesn't have to mean like you're an angry, like no, 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 self-righteous. No, 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 no worry. Like how dare you serve me this in an inappropriate glass. No, I can I can respond pretty you well. You enjoy so. beer. <laughs> if you're a person good beer. if you're a person who enjoys good beer. Good beer. This is my favorite thing to say. Let's drop craft, let's drop indie, let's drop all these words yeah. and say if you're someone who likes good beer. Yeah, me too. And you wanna be around other people who appreciate good beer. Come to Brudog. Brudog, Firenze, of course. Firenze. Of course. Of course. And um, so after, because we are the closer bar to the station, so to the train station, mm. so us first, then go to, uh, if you want to check a nice craft brew pub, go to Mosto Dolce, then Dolce. take a little walk to the Duomo and see the Piazza del Duomo and the cathedral, then go to the King Grizzly, because it's very close. Then after King, Liz King Grizzly, take a little walk to the river and check the Ponte Vecchio. Go back uh, and go on the other side, go to uh, One Eye Jack. Uh, this place doesn't have a happy hour. They have a kick-ass hour. Uh, it's open every fucking day from 6 until 8. They also have a support group for people who hate their jobs. Uh, it happens every day inside, in case you were wondering. Then go to Arkea Brewery, uh, which is very close. It's another so group pub. Arkea is a beautiful brewery and I made wonderful friends there, including this wacko. Mm -hmm. 
was a disturbing from McKellar and we got into a rather heated discussion about McKellar versus Evil Twin versus other options. Then after, if you if you're a little ang in need of food, yeah, you should probably eat at some point. Yeah, you, you, you should. <laughs> then go to the diorama, which is the other one, and eat some good food and some good maybe lambic to to swallow everything. <laughs> so <laughs> perfect. To, for the digestion, you know, it's perfect. And then finish your night at and then four finish in the your morning. Night four in the morning, <laughs> maybe, have, yeah. maybe <laughs> at blob, at blob and finish your night at, at the Blob Club. With yeah. the watermelon pole dancing. I don't want to talk about it right now. It's awkward. Oh, yeah, no, it's <laughs> thank you so much for speaking. Thank you. Me. Thank you. I'm going to link everything <laughs> down below and... Um, Nietzsche is very kind, actually. Basically, this thing, actually, what? <laughs> we all doubt it. Well, she, looks, <laughs> she, looks, she looks weird, it's, it's but don't worry. It's true, I know, I'm strange. Best debuts available. What is locally, independently produced? We have some Mikeller. Oh, oh, come on. No, but drink a Italian beer, and this is important yeah, for me. Yeah. When you travel, you should Italian, always... Italian beer is growing up very fast, very quickly, mm -hmm. and they have very good beers. A uh, couple of names if you want to check them. Uh, Vento Forte for the IPAs, uh, and also... Um, let me think... Uh, Lover beer is my favorite. Lover beer for uh, sours and lambic styles. Uh, then uh, for other hoppy beers, East Side, uh, still a good, very good. Uh, east Side, East Side, yeah. Park and East Side are very, it's are very close to Rome. So if you want to drink them fresh, uh, drink them close to Rome, and basically you can drink everything in Rome because Rome is the best. It is it's the Italian capital city for for craft beer, even for craft beer. yeah. Okay. You can go everywhere. It's like it's like Portland, Oregon. You can go everywhere and you can find craft beer everywhere in Rome. In Rome? Yeah. You, let's have another beer. Yeah. Go get it. <laughs> it was raining and thunderstorming, but I like that. So I couldn't help but go outside. I'm walking. It's a beautiful night. Uh, after Florence, we went to Milan. Uh, oh, oh, I'm in Milan. Huh. They should slow down and lean. So. <laughs> I do like how they have hand pump cast things, uh, which is interesting. Although, with the searing heat of August, it's um, uh, they're kind of flat and warm, which is hard because I was telling my friend that when she goes to the UK, that not all uh, hand pump beers are flat and warm, and they kind of have fun. We're gonna keep trying to find some other things. Just found a laundromat that plays, has chess. I love chess, so we're gonna play chess and uh, do laundry. And I tried to take video at a couple places, but we really weren't out super late. Um, the thing is, is I don't know why this isn't put out there more, but don't visit Europe in August. Don't come to Europe now because this is when everybody travels. So like Rome smells really bad, Paris is dead, no matter and what anyone tells you or what the prices look like, it's like the worst time to travel. Everything is closed. So even in Milan, most of the beer bars were just closed or they were closing. Uh, plan your trip for like a different time entirely. Um, thank you to my friend for sending me a list of things to do in Italy, by the way, that was super helpful and uh, kind of knocked off a few of those on the list. Um, check out his blog if you want to do things in Italy, um, obviously knows way more than I. I uh, had a blast in Italy because I love everywhere that I am always and I live deliciously so I just had lovely things that I was eating and drinking the whole time and met some fantastic people and I really appreciate everyone who generously allowed me and my friends to travel through and couch surf and feed us and booze us and entertain us. This is basically cornflakes. So that was my week in beer. The best beer I had this week definitely was all the things I could get from Lover Beer. Just everything from them. Um, connect with me on all the social medias. I'm Niche. This is Tasting Niche, and I'll see you next week. Merci, bientôt, au revoir. 
I'm gonna go back to bed now.